so guys welcome back now i'm gonna review the xiaomi phone i just changed to so in the previous videos i used the s10 plus to review it to unbox it and also to upload it and edit it but now i've changed my phone to a new one called the mi 11 ultra i'm gonna show you the unboxing here while i'm explaining all the things about this phone so here is the unboxing so yes, apparently I unboxed it in the store to check whether if the phone is in good condition or not. So yes, this is the phone right here. This is a flagship from Xiaomi, which cost about 16.999 million in Indonesian. So it's in rupiah. In American, this should cost about $1,200 more or less so what's good about this phone well the good thing about this phone is one of them is the camera while the megapixel might be low which is 50 megapixels which in Samsung is 108 megapixels this has a stabilizer for the camera which is really good for the video so that when you film it even in the ultra wide camera it will still be stable yes that's one of the good things the second is the bigger the sensor so yes it uses the sony sensor which is bigger than the samsung so that it will be brighter in the night time and it also have a night time mode on the camera which the software will make it brighter digitally but even if not digitally brightened it is already bright from the big sensor of sunny it can also do 120 times zoom which in samsung you can only do 100 times but i think it you don't really use it too much which uh, whether it is 100 or 120 times you don't really use it too much second of all is this lcd here which is not in the samsung can show you information whether the information of notifications clock alarm music and stuff like normal notification you get and but it can also use as a preview so that you can take selfie with the main camera so it will be way better than using the selfie camera for the selfie camera it might be not so good but there's a reason for that is the feature we just discussed before because you can use the main camera for to for you to take selfies that's why the selfie camera is not really good so the camera selfie camera here is only one camera so yeah, well, yeah that's why the selfie camera is not that really good because it prioritizes the main camera there's a flash here nothing really too good so yes that's from the camera for the processor it uses the snapdragon triple eight which is the newest one with high performance of course for the screen it is wqhd plus with hdr10 plus and also and also it should have uh, dolby fission and for the speakers it uses stereo speaker on the top this is the AR IR blaster and on the bottom they use Harman Kardon's speaker and for the charging it uses a 67 watt charger and it is already fast charging so it should charge from 0 to 100 in about 40 minutes more or less and in the box you don't really get much uh, you get like a normal phones do you get the charger the phone the case there is no earphone but you get an earphone adapter from type c to the headphone jack it's because there's no headphone jack here just as the phones these days are so yeah and it has a lot of sensors like the fingerprint sensor on the screen you can use face recognition and stuff like that it is already included well, this is a flagship phone, so it has a high standard. 
but this is a worth it phone even from xiaomi it is still worth it if you want to see like the gaming test camera test uh well you can just comment down below and i'll do it for you and it has a 5000 mAh battery so it should last long it does last long but with the snapdragon 888 if you use games it will not gonna last too long why because the performance is also high so yeah it takes up the battery too and that's probably all from this phone because the good thing about this phone is the camera itself for the snapdragon 888 it is used on most of the flagship phones these days like the s21 ultra and stuff like that they all already use snapdragon 888 so it is already in the flagship level wkhd plus is good hdr 10 plus for the colors is good it has dolby vision better again for the battery yes it lasts long like i said before for the camera it is good good for making videos and also photos for the speaker is good it is from harman kardon but what i can say is the best is not really showing out so yes but it is good so they balance it between the best and also the vocal so yeah, yeah. usually from harman kardon you can feel the best more right but now it is balanced because it is on a phone so yes yeah that's all if you want me to do the test on this phone you can just comment down below like subscribe and share i'm sorry for the late upload i'm gonna upload more videos soon thank you guys for watching see you guys again next time